and welcome back to my another to another video. But this video is different. We're gonna be reading a book, and you're probably wondering why my screen is like this. So I'm gonna be reading a book, but when the pictures come, like I'm gonna show you guys the pictures. So the name of this book is Alien in My Packet. So this is like the picture. Kind of. Oops, oops. Okay, that's the picture. Okay, guys. So, oops. Okay, so we're gonna be reading the book. What the heck? Alien in my pack. Written by Nate Ball. Illustrated by Mackie Panton. Alien in my pocket. There are times I think I might have that. Uh, about like that, I may not know these words. So I'm gonna just skip this. There are times I think I might have that this thing. I don't know. That makes people fall asleep right in the middle of doing something. It's a real decision, I think. I saw it on TV, uh, a TV show once. This guy who had the disease fell asleep while eating a bowl of cream of potato soup. Splash, face first. Once I fell asleep just thinking about spelling anyway, I thought the thought anyway, the thought crossed my mind. One night when I woke up with my face planted in a book, I had fallen asleep while studying for my first science quiz of the new school year. Oops. Of the new school year. You'd think, uh, stack it, ex uh, I don't know, extraordinary would be, would be the kind you'd, of subject that would interest a kid like me, but it wasn't not a spark of interest. Just sudden on set snoozing, I jerked awake at my small wop wobbly desk. My neck was stiff, stiff. My arm was numb. My mouth felt like a bird had died in the in it our house was early i don't know quit my little earlier quit my little brother's room on the other side of the wall was silent my parents had forgotten to say good night good night again both were trying to meet deadlines for break break through experiments and research grants, I switched off my title desk. Light. That's enough studying for one night, I whispered in a quicky voice. I le I lurched, I lurched over to my window and pushed it open from my second story window. I had a good view of of our dark and silent backyard. I signed and I guess I started to fall back asleep because the next thing I knew, the screen popped out of its frame and fell to the dim, to the dim backyard below and I nearly followed it down. Yips! I whispered at 
the at the at the thought of spend spending fourth grade in a body cast my window screen had landed somewhere in the darkest the darkest behind the bushes darkness behind the bushes at least i can i can lean out my window now i thought i looked over at the house next two hours to see if olive's light was on it wasn't olive had has lived across the heads from me pretty much forever our homes are so close that if the wind is blowing right she can fire a mus marshmallow with her marshmallow bazooka from her room and hit me in the face i was about to slide the window shut and collapse on my bed when i noticed a shooting star a little good luck was just what i needed i shut my eyes and quickly made a wish actually three wishes at one at once to finally make the travel bus baseball team together to get better grades and to avoid the tension all year why not make the most of the uh, opportunity when i open my eyes the falling star was still falling that's weird i thought falling stars you usually last once only half a second or so but this one was streaking slowly from left to right across the sky night heading towards the moon as i watched it flight it looked like the fall falling star was falling slowly and getting bigger i rubbed my eyes and learned out my and leaned out my window as far as i could without falling out the star was falling slower and getting bigger okay guys so that's basically the end of my story right here so thank you guys um stay tuned for what's gonna happen next And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.